If you're not a fan of Let's Plays, then A, you've never seen one, B, you haven't found the right person to watch, or C, you're old as balls. <laughs> The topic I want to talk about today is in response to Adam Sessler over at uh, Rev3 Games. And um, if you guys don't know who Adam Sessler is, then that means you're really either really young or your parents didn't subscribe to cable back when you were a kid. Um, uh, Adam Sessler is a, uh, is a reviewer, a game reviewer, and he used to be on the show. Um, well, it started as extended play back when I started watching. Um, it had just turned to extended play from GameSpot TV, I believe was what it was called. And then it turned to X-Play, and then it turned to shit, because that's G4. Um, a Adam can't talk about how shit G4 is. This is me is expressing it. G fuck G4! That's me. To, that's my gift to him today. But uh, <laughs> Adam Sessler was one of the best things that ever happened over at G4. Now he's over at Rev3 Games, so go over there and check him out. It's in response to something he said in his video today, and it was addressing a topic that I addressed uh, a couple weeks back about Nintendo putting their ads on my Nintendo Let's Plays. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you're watching on my channel, you obviously are a fan of Let's Plays, because that's what I do. I'm a veteran LPer. I've been Let's Playing for five years, and... Um, yeah, it's been it's been quite a quite a journey. Before I had this channel, I had another channel which I had like five or six uh, let's plays on, and uh, that channel I shut that down. I started a new one and uh, haven't looked back. So um, today I want to address something that Adam Adam said something in his video that kind of struck me as interesting, and it wasn't the topic that he was talking about. He was talking about he basically said exactly what I did in very in in a much more professional journalistic way. Um, but he did say something that was, th that rang true and has rang true over the past five years of me doing this. And that's that if you're the people that aren't interested in let's plays, generally they're, they tend to be older and you know, he says, I'm going to, I'm going to show my old, my old man side or whatever I'm paraphrasing here. I don't understand how people can sit and watch somebody play a game <clears throat> and listen to somebody talk over it. Sorry. You're going to hear Sam in the background. He's, he's pissed today, but, um, that brought up something, you know, I sat there and I was like, damn it, this is like the seventh old person I've heard say this. Now, Adam isn't, he's not that old. Well, he's got to be, he's got to, I don't know his exact age, but he's got to be at least, I'm not going to make a guess. Um, because I was watching him, okay, let, let's just say, I was watching him before I ever got laid. And I now have a two-year-old son and have been married for six years. He's, he, he's, he's getting up there. But anyway, um... This is not the first time I've heard this. Actually, as a matter of fact, you guys know my buddy Anakin, Jason, really, really well. He's been a very big part of my YouTube life in the past two years, and he's been a big part of my channel as well. He's on the same boat as Adam Sessler. He cannot stand what I do on YouTube. Now, although we're partners on YouTube, we've, te we've teamed up for Down the Scope, our podcast, and other various dual comms, he still does not understand what it is about Let's Playing that people like and enjoy and this got me thinking maybe nintendo themselves being old ass motherfuckers don't understand what let's playing is and they don't understand what it is that they're they're they're, they're doing to a community of people that are in essentially helping their sales helping garner them fans of their you know and, and think of and think about it this way you know you've got you've got so many people and, and as the person who asked the question on Address the Cess, which is down in the description box, you can check that out. It'll also, I'm going to try and make this as a uh, response video, uh, if they'll allow that. Um, he, the guy who asks the question, he says, you know, don't they, don't they realize what they're doing when they do this? LPing is becoming a humongous thing. And with the... Uh, uh, with the, the, the integration of the new Sony share button on their PlayStation controller, this is going to make LPing a big deal. It's going to make it accessible to people like you who may not have the passion to do it, um, who may not have the passion to go out and spend all the money. <clears throat> it's going to make it a little bit easier for you to have a channel dedicated to gaming. And it, it really does make me think, excuse me, maybe these guys don't know what the hell they're, they're doing. And now think about it this way. You've got 
think think about your grandfather. And I'm not saying that Adam or Jason are, you know, old that old, okay? They're not that old. They're old, but they're not that old. I'm 25. I started this whole thing when I was 20 years old. Now, when I say the older people are the ones that kind of tend to steer away from Let's Plays, I'm pretty much talking from 25 up. There's a lot of 25-year-olds that I know personally who would never subscribe to something like this. But I know 15, 16-year-old kids in real life that they love watching Let's Plays. They love them. So it makes me it makes me wonder, are these old people at Nintendo, are they are they old and, and, and don't realize it? Think of like like my example. Think about your grandfather. Think about, you know, all the things that, that, that he's got this old piece of crap, you know, telephone, and you're like, Grandpa, it's not that hard to use an iPhone. It really is not that hard. And there's things on here. Grandpa, you know how you like reading the Bible? The Bible's on here. You know how you like to check the weather and you got to wait till 10 o'clock for the news to come on to check it? It's on here. You know your favorite show, uh, you know, your favorite Western TV? You can watch it right here on Netflix. But yet, they're so old-fashioned and they're so dead set that, no, it's not happening. They're so just narrow-minded that they won't switch to something high-tech. They won't learn. They won't innovate. They won't change their mindset to, to take on these new technologies. I wonder if that may be what we're seeing with Nintendo. Now, I don't think that everybody, like I said in my video, I don't think they're all old people. But I do think that the ones that are pulling the strings at the very tip top are probably very old-fashioned people. And they don't want to see too much change. And, 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 and I don't think that they understand what a Let's Play is. Me personally, and Adam asked people to post in his comments what they like in, in Let's Plays. Here, here's the here's what a, a, a Let's Play is for me. The first Let's Play I ever saw was by complete accident back in 2007. And I can't remember the the, the person who did this Let's Play, but it was, it was some random guy. I was looking at Pokemon Red Glitches for some reason. Uh, back when I first started my journey into my old apartment, I had no internet. I was mooching off the upstairs neighbor. And I'm like, oh, sweet, I can watch all the videos I want. And I'm sitting there watching Red, and I run across some guy talking over it. And I was like, this is kind of dumb. But then he cracked me up. That's all it took. He made me laugh one time. And I realized this is something interesting. This is me getting to view an experience. Somebody else has gave me experience and getting to see them react to something for the first time in a blind Let's Play. Now, over the years, my taste personally has changed for what I like to view in a Let's Play. And let me use this analogy to give you an idea of what I see in, in, in a Let's Play. I personally, when I go down, down, use the bathroom, I sit down. Most kids these days, they pull up iFunny. <laughs> me, I personally, I've got a humongous stack of game strategy guides from back when I was a kid. And you know what I do? I pull it out. Now, now I pull out a Final Fantasy VII strategy guide. I know everything about it. I've read this strategy guide front and back. It's fallen apart from the years of abuse. Still, I read the strategy guide. It brings me back to a better place, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the, the sentimental shit that comes with gaming. It's the same thing I, I, I view as a, in, in a Let's Play, except nowadays I don't watch a blind Let's Play. I don't, I don't like watching blind Let's Plays as much as I like watching Let's Plays of people who know what they're doing. And maybe I'm going to learn something. Every new Let's Play from an experienced person playing the game is a new strategy guide for me to read. Except this time you're viewing it, and if the person's good enough, if the person's good enough to, uh, you know, not only provide the information necessary to um, to keep me interested, but also provide maybe some humor or provide, you know, some some witty banter back and forth with somebody else, maybe a dual comp, it's going to keep me watching. It's going to be a very interesting thing, especially like to listen to it while I'm playing a game that I know very well, say Just Cause 2. When I'm just messing around in that game, I can listen to them having a good time playing Just Cause 2. It'll be interesting. It goes very well. It's like listening to a, to a commentary over a DVD. It's like, that, that may, doesn't make more sense to me than, than anything else. It's like, why do you want to listen to a, a commentary over something fixed like a movie? Because you get information about it. Well, if you're watching a Let's Play of somebody who knows the game very well, you're getting that same amount. You're seeing secrets and you're putting them into action while you're playing. And that's why I enjoy 
Let's Plays. Now, don't get me wrong. The Let's Play environment has become very, very saturated. And it's become saturated to the point where it's hard for people who are good at Let's Plays to get the, the notoriety that they deserve. And I do plan to make a top 10 most underrated Let's Players um, video just to get these people out here to you guys who may not have heard of them because I love them. And they, you know, they're, they're ranging anywhere between uh, under 30,000 subscribers. So anyway, that's why I like Let's Playing. That's why I view Let's Playing. And I think that any older person or any person in general who hasn't taken the time to find a Let's Play of their favorite game from a very experienced person and sit down and maybe see what you've missed. Maybe you think you know everything about a game, but believe me, you don't. It wasn't too long ago that I found a guy who did a 100% run of Donkey Kong Country, a game that I have beaten hundreds of times in my childhood and hundreds of times in my adulthood. And I saw every episode something I did not know existed. And um, exactly, that's why I do it. Anyway, guys, Tell me in the comments, why do you watch Let's Plays? Why have you come to my channel? If you're new to my channel, are you a fan of Let's Plays? Do you enjoy Let's Plays at all? And are you over the age of 25 years old if you still watch them? In any case, thank you so much for watching. I'm Viridia. Have a good day. And Adam, I love you, man.